So I want me to give a countdown? Okay, three, two, one, go. Ah, okay, so this is Kirby's Dreamland. This is the first Kirby for uh, the Game Boy. And as you can see, uh, there's no colors. But more importantly, there are no abilities in this game. Which makes this game pretty slow, but that's fine. So as you can see, I'm damage boosting a lot in this. Uh, to save some frames. So we'll be going through the first world, which is Green Greens. The first mini boss. Uh, Poppy Bros. Senior. So he'll be throwing some bombs at us. Please no dance. Aww. Nope. Uh, so there's a chance that either he dances or not. If he does, then that wastes like seven seconds, which is pretty unfortunate. Yep. Alright, so we'll be going through this. We're trying to not take too much damage. Ah. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. Better not die. Okay, there we go. So we're going in this with some vertical movement. So one thing that you're gonna understand is how uh, flying works. Is um Ooh. Not, oh fuck. <laughs> uh, if you jump and okay, how do you explain this? But like, if you fall down and okay, no. If you if you're in the air and you hold the up button, uh, Kirby will like puff up all the way. And uh, when you then press B, or you will like get a weird puff thing coming out of his mouth, and that will deal damage to enemy uh, enemies as well. And it's useful in certain areas, but against bosses, it's pretty useless. For instance, yeah. So we have Wispy. You can do two things: you can puff, or we can give you apples. And of course, you want the apples. He's puffing a bit, so it's not that good. But I don't know. That it was decent. A lot okay. of the bosses are RNG. Yeah. So we just finished the first boss of this. Uh, we're going to the second level, which is Castle Lolola. So this level is pretty much some sort of a labyrinth. <laughs> you might see a few uh, items that we're not picking up. Uh, you you want to like not spit those out because they do a thing to the whole screen and create a, a lot of lag. So you try to avoid them as much as possible. Yeah, I usually just press down to eat them. It's the fastest exactly. you can do. And yeah, we're just coming up to a little mini boss. Just get the crates, kill him. And he's dead, okay. So now we'll be trying a little strat that is generally not that hard. But I tend to mess this up, so let's see. So, you, oh. oh man, let's try it again though. Okay, so I'll get the curry. Now, get through this path without wasting too much time. Yeah. So what curry does is it allows you to keep puffing all the time, and this actually is able to damage bosses. So you want to grab it as uh, quickly as you can and go to the boss as quickly as you can. Ah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, this looks really bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's really, really bad. It's, it's hard to do it quickly enough. Yeah, so we go for the intended strat. You basically want them to get as close as possible. Oh. Ah, missed there. There's not really anything you can do. Just if they are far away, you just you gotta hold for not too bad things to happen. Yeah, other than that, it was okay. That's not too bad. Yeah. Famous Kirby dance. Yeah. And oh, well, this we have stage three float islands. Also known as lag islands. Yeah. So there's some nuts flying around, and other than that, I'll be. There's not much to do, so if you have some donations, you can go and read them now. So how movement works in the water is like you're basically trying to jump out of it. It it it's really wonky. It's not like normal water movement where you can just use the D-pad to fly around. So you're just repeatedly like pressing the A button to jump out. Exactly. So here we're just navigating through this little cave. Right. Going through that block like instantly after that puff is actually a lot harder than it looks. I really I really suck at it. Yeah, so we get another curry here. We'll be killing some enemies to reduce some lag. 
because like we said, this is laggy islands, so we want to... Like, you can really see how much this lags, it's yeah. really bad. Okay, and with this we come to the star, and uh, the longest cutscene in the game, pretty much. There's not much downtime in this game, so we're just gonna enjoy this little cutscene. Could be flying to the whale, and being shot all the way into the sky. Which uh, is a really normal thing. Happens every day. Yeah, it's just a Kirby thing. Okay. So, this is Kabula. Um, he's a blimp. Or she's a blimp, actually. It's a she. Yeah, I know. And you grab the leave, and it'll allow you, allow you to just keep puffing all the time. Exactly. She's also the, the best boss in the game because she's not any RNG beast. <laughs> Woo! Nice. <laughs> okay, so this is stage four. This is actually the hardest stage in the game because the movement in this is really, really close. Nice, I really like this strat. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's okay. A lot of like new first-time runners die uh, in this stage a lot. I know I have. Yeah. It's not not easy at all. So that's the first room. Also, one thing that I should probably mention is the way how the spikes work in this big game. Because instead of just dealing one damage, they will actually halve your health. Which can be very annoying. Oh yeah, we can read some donations, it's fine. Alright, I was just wondering. <laughs> we have one dollar and twenty-three cents from Rapish again, saying, Pogcham. We have one dollar from Butterblume. 321, which is a German name, by the way. Um, I'm not gonna read that comment, I'm very sorry. <laughs> we have $10 from E Bloody Candy saying, Good luck to Fretzy and Kinnan with the Kirby's. May D3 have mercy on us all. You may indeed. And we have $3 from Originus1 saying, Yo, good luck to Fretzy and Kinnan on their runs. And Kinnan, it's Meta Jump, not Mega Jump, OP OP. Please, it's Mega Jump. We call it like that from the start. Yeah, tried some swag, some swag there. Messed up, but that's fine. So that was another like mid boss without any RNG. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if I can get finally it? get this. No, wow. Ooh. I have a second chance. There we go. Hey. So this is a little glitch where you get behind the background. This is actually slightly faster because it reduces lag, and it looks really, really cool. Yeah. And oh, I'm actually pretty happy I was able to show this off because I'm really bad at it for <laughs> some reason. Right. Unfortunately, it's over already. But we get a little, another little uh, curry part. Just going through the blocks. So here you like basically you you keep destroying the blocks a little bit too slow. So you constantly have to like wait a little bit. It's a little annoying to do. Yeah. So we're going our way to the next boss, Krako. You want to talk about Krako? Um. Krako is probably the most annoying boss in this entire game, next to DDD. Um, he is purely RNG, there's three things he can do. He can fly over, he can shoot out uh, these beams, or he can shoot out a Waddle Doo. Uh, you want to hit him to do the, uh, get the Waddle Doos, and after every Waddle Doo, he'll do some... F uh, no, after every attack, he'll do something else. So it's basically just hoping you get Waddle Doos, and he's being really annoying right now. Yeah, this is really bad luck. Or is Krako a she? I don't remember anymore. Yeah. You can really lose a lot of runs to this. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. This is basically the, the first decider of uh, races as well. If you get lucky on Krako, you're, you're set for a little while. But everything can still happen near the end. Okay. So not the best Krako, but... Ooh. Okay, now we get to stage three. Oh, sorry, excuse me, stage five. <laughs> uh, Mount DDD. This is basically just the boss rush. We get into all the, the little funny boss fights again. Because this also means we're gonna fight Krako again later. Yeah. This is not that bad, because every... Every room has only one one room pretty much before the boss, and then that's it. So you saw the 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 gore, like the weird spiky thing in front of the door. You want to grab uh, the the weird Kirby thing that was there as well. Um, 
because that'll allow you to get in. And those Gordos, uh, but they're cold, uh, will kill you instantly. So you try to avoid them. Yeah. Also, a little thing after boss fight, I'll be flying up to reduce some lag. Because I'll pretty much dis let the, the noise disappear there. And here I'll be doing. Here I just did a damage boost to get through the Gordo. Sees me maybe a second or two. And really easy to do. So here we have our favorite friend, Krakow again. Yep. If you have any donations, go ahead. Yeah. We actually only have one donation. Uh, it is a... <laughs> it is a 1337 donation by Anonymous saying, Great speedrunning, but where is Pepsi Man? The greatest <laughs> game of all time. Thank you very much for that donation, and uh, keep it up. Almost did it. Yeah, there we go. It was a bit better than than the first Krakow. Okay, so now we'll go to Kabula. Again. To Kabula. Okay, I'll do a little precise jump to get over this gap. Nice. So uh, there's a thing that you can do by jumping into the spikes and then damage boosting past the Gordo, but it's really, really difficult because, like I said, spikes actually halve your health. So you would have to do the rest of this really, really well without taking damage. And it's just not safe enough. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to go back to Wispy Woods. Yeah. First world. Some of the best music in the game. True. And let's get in here. And let's see what he has for us. Okay, good start. Gives us apples. He always spawns three apples if he spawns apples. Oh, really? Yes. Cool. Okay, that was decent. And it's time for our favorite boss. Get to the final boss, DDD. So, DDD is purely RNG again. He's got four attacks he can do. He can try sucking you up, he can jump towards you. He can use his hammer and he can do these kinds of big jumps. You want him to use the hammer or the big jumps because they allow you to grab stars from him, uh, which you can use to kill him. But it's really annoying and his RNG is just some of the most heart-wrenching uh, RNGs in the game. Quite often when you're like on a really good pace, uh, DDD will keep trolling you until he knows that you can no longer PB and he'll give you nothing but stars. Because he's an evil bastard. Yep. Alright. So this time is on the final hit. Yes. This is actually a pretty good instance of very, very bad luck. And time. And now we can finally give the world back its food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was not really a good run, but I mean, we made it. And oops, oh. I didn't die to DDD, which was pretty important as well. So yeah, basically, thanks for watching, everyone. What was I the time, actually? 13, God 13. damn it. Almost, <laughs> almost late. Yeah, <laughs> it's an okay time, but yeah. with the RNG you got, it's definitely okay. Yeah. God bless America. <laughs>